Hayden Christensen exploded onto the Hollywood scene with his breakout role as a young Anakin Skywalker. Since Star Wars, Christensen has taken a hands-on approach to his career. Away from the screen, he's used his downtime to establish a farm and even help create a line of clothing. Now he's set to return to the spotlight in a project paying tribute to the vibrant culture of Canada's largest city. It is a little bit of a Romeo and Juliet story uh, in that you have these two feuding families uh, and these, these two characters on either side of the, of the divide uh, who, who have like a real affection for each other. Um, that said, I feel like our characters are maybe a little bit smarter than Romeo and Juliet because, you know, they don't die at the end. Uh, they, 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 there's a happy ending to this one. Um, but it's, it's a fun story. When it comes to acting, Christensen relishes the opportunity for roles like the one he's found in Little Italy. The role of Leo was very appealing uh, uh, because I liked him. Uh, he's just a, a sort of a your average guy um, uh, living a, a you know pretty straightforward existence, uh, and um, he has you know a real love of, of his community and of his, uh, of his family. We both share a real love of pizza uh, and a love of family. I, f I felt like that was sort of my way into the character, um, was sort of focusing on that. Um, but, uh, you know, there was still a decent amount of, of preparation to be able to uh, create this character. Um, you know, I really had to sort of embrace uh, all of my uh, Italian uh, qualities. I am part Italian. Um, and sort of like working on just the, all the mannerisms and, and that sort of stuff. Christensen famously took a break from the bright lights of Hollywood buying a farm, an experience and lifestyle that helped give him a new perspective. I have a farm just north of Toronto and um, I love it up there. It's, uh, it's a real escape for me and um, I just, I just, I like that environment. I like the lack of traffic and, um, and just the open space and uh, uh, so I try to spend as much time there as I can. My parents had a farm when I was a little kid and so I have like early memories of going to this, this farm. Uh, uh, just on the border of Quebec and Ontario and, uh, um, and I guess I sort of wanted to recreate some of that for myself um, but no it was just it was uh, a, a new adventure for me too it was an environment that I wasn't sort of familiar with and I, I, I was intrigued. Over the years Christensen has become the face of some of the world's most prominent brands. His experience creating a clothing collection further fueled one of his personal passions, design. You know, I've always liked design, uh, and uh, they approached me uh, with this opportunity, and uh, you know, it, it seemed like a, 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 an interesting endeavor. Um, but uh, uh, no, I, I, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't done it since then, but uh, it was fun. With Christensen back in the spotlight, He's ready for new opportunities.